Football's about passion. It's a way of life. It gets you up on the morning. It's magnificent. It's fantastic. What a sport. What a sport. Welcome back to another episode of Retro Football. And in this episode, we are, or I am, playing some Nintendo Game Boy. But what game is it going to be, guys? Well, you all know what it's going to be because, uh, yeah, you've clicked on the video. You've seen the, the, the title of the video, Sensible Soccer. Oh, listen to that music. Um, so yeah, Sensible Soccer on the Game Boy. I played a bit of this back in the day. I don't really remember it. Anyone who's clicked on this video will already know all about Sensible Soccer, I'm sure. If you are remotely interested in the footy games, here are your teams. Um, so yeah, a few days back as I'm recording this, I did make a video on, was it European Champions? I think it might have been called on Sega Master System. Like, it was just woeful. So going from that to this, because they're going to be similar styles. When I say styles, uh, overhead views um, in regards to your camera. So let's see how the handheld console does footy gaming compared to how the Master System did that specific footy game. Yes, I know they are different games. I don't even know what I'm getting at here. I'm still a little bit scarred by how bad that game was. Anyway, so this looks rough. Let, let's, you know, say it how it is. But for its time, it didn't. And I'm going to say right now, guys, this game's fantastic. This game is brilliant. This was one of my favourite games on the Game Boy. Um, and what they've done right with this, they've made the ball nice and big so you could see it. Because we've got to remember, the Game Boy screen's going to be tiny. We didn't have the luxury like I've got now. Hold that thought. Hey, just wide. We didn't have the luxury of being able to emulate our Game Boy or, or plug it into a big TV. I don't think we did, anyway. No, we, we couldn't plug the Game Boy into a TV. What am I thinking? Um, <laughs> we did have that big screen, magnifying screen. Which doubled up as a light as well. There was a light attached to it. Remember that? Those things were awful. But anyway, this game is incredible. The pace of it is nice and slow. The ball sticks to your feet. Kind of. It's not pure arcade this game. Or it's not arcade at all. But it's accessible. Oh, what a lovely goal from the CPU. What a goal. It's accessible. So it's kind of in the middle between arcade and sim, if you like. It's a bit more in depth and a bit trickier to play or a bit more complex on the Amiga and, and the like. The Game Boy Renegade um, really thought about what they or how they wanted to make a game for a handheld console. And this is one of my favorite handheld footy games for sure. It's so good, guys. It really is. Even to this day. Yes, it does look rough now because of the monochrome screen. But I actually love the big chunky sprites. Again, the big ball. I like big balls. And <laughs> very, very childish, guys. I'm very childish. I know I am. This is my release when I do these videos. I don't have... Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't people have people telling me how terrible my jokes are i could just make them and, and kind of get away with them even though i'm probably annoying you guys but anyway um in regards to reception it, it's difficult finding stuff for sensible soccer that is specifically oh what a save specifically for the version you are playing if that makes sense but on the wiki for this if i glance over here at the uh, article on my ipad but I've got to try and at least attempt to score a goal on this at the same time. Oh, um, this video is all over the place, I know. But yeah, this is interesting. So this is just the general sensible soccer page for... Um, oh, sorry, the general wiki page for sensible soccer. 
And there's a bit in reception, and it touches on this. It touches on the Game Boy version rather than focusing on any of the other systems. And it says that um, Computer Gaming World in 94 wrote that in the debate over the best football action tactical game, there is no doubt that Sensible is everyone's top three, no matter what format. The game is fast and responsive. It's a class act. Uh, and then it goes on to say the magazine added that the Game Boy version is one of the best games on the handheld. There you go. Oh, got there in the end, guys. It's half time. I should have done all that at half time, shouldn't I? Um, which is interesting. And then there's a little bit written about the Amiga version. But to touch on the Game Boy version is... It, or it just shows how impressive this port was or this version of Sensible Soccer was. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you, um, or if you played this. And also, are the other versions of Sensible Soccer worth looking at for the channel? Would you like to see more 8-bit and 16-bit footy games? Because we've locked up nearly all of the PES games for retro football now. We'll keep doing PES and the like. Don't worry about that. We'll keep doing them for the Master League series on the couch series, Dave and I's Master League series, all the series. Um, but yeah, for Retro Football, let me know if you have any 8-bit, 16-bit suggestions for me, because there will be quite a few footy games that pass me by, especially Sensible Soccer. I only ever played this on the Amiga, on the Game Boy, and on the Xbox 360, Sensible World of Soccer on there. So, yeah, like I say, get your suggestions in. Please do check the playlist to see if I've covered it or if Dave and I have covered it before um, hit me up with a suggestion. Because the Retro Football playlist is growing. And also, guys, what did you make of my penalty save earlier? It was very impressive. I was, yeah, I was so focused on delivering that really interesting snippet from the <laughs> Wikipedia article. This is so cool. Really, really impressive to play. Again, I just love how it flows, the pace of everything. The ball physics in this are good. Like, it feels nice to be in possession of the ball. And I am going to compare it to European Champions or whatever that game is called. Ah! Oh, on Sega Master System. So, again, I'm comparing because they are both top-down views. Um, it was atrocious. The trajectory of the ball was ridiculous. You just breathed on the ball. It would fly across the pitch. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, and go out for a throw-in every time as the ball goes out for a throw-in in this. Typical. But, yeah, it was just... This is just night and day ahead of, uh, ahead of that game. And sometimes it just goes to show that you've either... You've either got it as a developer or you haven't, I guess. And the guys who made the Sensi games were extremely passionate guys and, and, and just gave us really good football games for the time, didn't they? So yeah, let me know if there's any sort of quirky or rare uh, Sensi games that you think I should take a look at. I think we've taken a look at Swaz on the Amiga or 360. I think Dave was with me for that video. Obviously this now. Oh, it's the post! Oh, my keeper's doing well, though. Oh, I thought that was in. It's just so much fun to play. Simplistic in design, but there is depth here as well. There definitely is depth here, guys. I know it looks simplistic. If you haven't played this, you're probably like, this looks ridiculous. The players do look like UFOs as well, or aliens, like the Roswell alien. I mean, I've never considered that before, but they really do, don't they? Especially from a side profile of the players. But this is cool. This is such a good series in general. But like I say, guys, yeah, please let me know. Are there any Sensi games that I need to be playing and looking at? Because I really want to get more of this on the channel now. But as always, thank you for watching. Um, it's such a cool game. Check it out if you haven't played it. And I shall speak to you all very soon.